Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been watching a lot of prep uh, videos on how to survive in case of SHTF stuff hitting the fan. So our first thing that we're gonna do here, we're going to make a makeshift stove. And I have my assistant here. Hi. She's gonna help and we're gonna make our first food with our makeshift stove she wants to make grilled cheese so we're gonna test this out and see if it meets survival standards so we're gonna be using this bread pan and everything here is from dollar tree like everything we're gonna use except the pot and the spatula and <clears throat> we're gonna make um meals from dollar tree yes Which our meals dollar tree food yes dollar tree food so here we're gonna use this bread pan. We're gonna use this cooling rack. And we're gonna use these Dollar Tree canned heat, quick flame. They burn for two hours, which is awesome. So first thing, let's take the wrappers off. Take this out. Cut this off. And just some scissors. All right, so now we're going to take our flames. We're gonna put two flames in the bread pan. Right there, I can see from there. Can heat. Can heat. And this is our first time, so we're doing this all together and see how it works out. See how it turns out. See how our survival skills are gonna be when needed so here's this box of matches this is also from Dollar Tree this has 300 matches in there they also have the mini ones I got both of them I got the mini boxes and I got the big box so let's light it up you ready all right And these cans are found in the party section. It's not lighting. Huh. Wait, yeah. So, too much, okay, it's lit. Too much breeze. Let's see if we can light the other one. Yeah. This small. Feel, yeah, it's lit. because it's daylight but it feels hot you can't see the fire okay I see a little fire yeah so they're both lit oh, yeah. guys you see it yeah so we got fire all Dollar Tree red pan can heat matches now we're going to put our cooling rack on top yeah it's heat let's do it this way yeah, let's do it this way. It's kind of slippery. Bring the camera down a bit. Right there. So we got our cooling rack on there. Now we're gonna put the pot on top. Like so. I see smoke, I see smoke. You see the smoke? Okay, grab the bread and the plate. Wait, is this $300? This $3. This we got this from Dollar Tree, which was pretty pricey. Three dollars, but it is what it is. Walmart bread is like one one something. But we're doing a Dollar Tree survival video. Okay? Not a haul. It could be a haul though. It's a um, survival. Okay, here, put the butter. Show the butter. We got the butter from Dollar Tree. Watch the pot. Look, watch the pot. That butter is from Dollar Tree. I didn't know Dollar Tree had butter until today. All right. So we're gonna put the butter on. Now there. I'm gonna spread it. Oh. Yeah. 
Uh, here, put, wipe it on the paper towel. Alright, spread it on there. Spread, spread, spread. Spread on spread. Can you see the smoke in the camera? Not really. Ooh, I better smell good. And this was the last bread, guys. Butter bread, Sara Lee at Dollar Tree. Awesome. Spread it all over. Why well, does it smell? It smell good. You don't like the smell? I do. You gotta spread it all over. Because this is what makes the bread brown and crispy. Right? You see how I'm doing it? You're gonna do the next one. You see that? For our grilled cheese. Put the butter on there. Here, we do the next one. Can I drop it on you? We'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. It's getting hot. Hopefully. Look, I see smoke. Is it showing in the camera? It's smoking, guys. We got our stove going. I'm excited. <laughs> We're surviving. Just keep spreading it. Don't break the bread. Just be gentle. It's gonna be a little. Grab the cheese, show the cheese. I don't know where we got it from. This is hamburger cheese and it's from Dollar Tree. Yep, I didn't even know Dollar Tree sold cheese. Ooh, watch the pot, watch the pot. I didn't even know Dollar Tree uh, sold cheese and butter. And this is like a name brand butter, Imperial. That's a name brand butter. That's not even off brand. Sara Lee is name brand. Okay. Open the cheese. But this is Sara Lee and this is Sara Lee. No, this isn't Sara Lee. This is Breckenridge. Oh. So Open where, the cheese. Where this Single. That means they're little slices. Open it. Okay. The pot should be hot. I see smoke. Watch your finger. You can just open it with your hand. Because that scissors is not worth jack <laughs> there you go all right so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grease the pan because it says non-stick but this pan is very not non-stick so let's put that there i didn't really hear a sizzle but i felt the heat all right so let's put our first slice on there let's put the cheese at the same time I usually do that so I don't have to wait too long put the cheese up top there crash over there and we're gonna wait and see <coughs> smoke any tea oh, you're okay come back some there's too much smoke so we're gonna wait and see how long it's gonna take. We're gonna pause and come back and we'll let you know how long it took before we have to flip it. Oh. Okay guys, so it took about 15 to 20 minutes for the bottom of the grilled cheese to start looking toasted. And if you don't have canned heat, you can use candles. Yeah, if you don't have canned heat, like she said, you can use candles. So we're gonna place the other slice of bread with the butter side out and then flip it over. And I jack that up. And then we're gonna slightly press on it. And then guys, we're gonna wait for the other side to toast and then we'll be back with our final review. Yeah. 
Go. Now I'm going to take it out the pot and put it in the plate. The pot? The pot is done. <laughs> take it out the pot. Careful now. Okay. Use this plate. This one? This one, right here. Okay. So now I'm going to take it out. Show it first, see if you can show it. There we go, we got that side. And, and we got that side. That side. All right. Put it in the plate. I'm going to put it in the plate. And here it is in place. Very close. Watch the pot. There it is. You can see a better view. You and, want to cut it? Yeah. And I've got the knife. Watch the pot. Cut it. Gently. Ah. Let me do it. You're already saying ah. It's hot. It's cooked for sure. Okay, guys, we cut it this way, which is the ugly way. We should have cut it that way. And here it is. It's hot, remember? Yeah. It's so. It looks so good. It do. And here's the cheese is Wash melted. <laughs> the cheese melted a little bit. Yeah, it melted a lot. Look. It melted. Come on now. Dollar Tree cheese melts, guys. Okay. Yep. Mmm. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not too hot. Mm-hmm. It's good. How many stars you give it? A million. <laughs> so guys. The biggest number in the world. The only downfall. That I see is that it took a long time to cook. Um, but the point of the video is to survive without a stove. This is SHTF. Stuff in the fan survival, guys. So for this survival technique, we give it a five out of five. Right? Five, five out of five. Five out of ten. It's five out of five. No, ten out of ten. Okay, I guess she's on a ten scale, I'm on a five scale. So 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, this is a survival method that we will be keeping in our survival life. So guys, I hope you guys learned something from this and the way how things are looking out in these streets, we might need this survival technique. So guys, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, comment, and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video. And comment down below if you like this video or you got ideas for us to do in the next video. Bye. Alright, bye guys. Thanks for watching.